Hello, welcome to another installment of our Soulman MIDI foot controller tutorial videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Soulman as a perfect companion to your Nemesis Delay. In what we call panel mode, you can really program the Soulman to perform a ton of functions in the Nemesis. I've created my own panel with some functions that are very useful to me. And first, I'm going to show you what I've programmed each foot switch to do. Then I'll show you how to set it up in the Soulman editor. Okay, so my first foot switch, I've got a um, oil can delay set up. You can hear the. Well, let me give you my. That's my dry. That's my wet. And foot switch number two I've got programmed for self oscillation, which basically when I hold down the foot switch, it's the same as turning the feedback knob on the Nemesis all the way up. So check it out. And next, number three, I've got programmed as a effect send. So basically, when it's off, you know, the, the dry signal is going to uh, the taps and you're hearing the delay. When I hit it, hold it down, it sends no signal to the taps. So, you know, on. So that's just a quick way of pulling my signal out of the delay if I need that for a short time. And then over here, I've got the hold function which basically creates like a little loop so I can do something like this. And that's just an eternal loop. Um, and it doesn't get loud or anything, it just stays the same. And it's nice, you can uh, just set that and I can play over something. So that's what I've got on the board. Uh, so let me show you how exactly I programmed that. Okay, so I've opened my Soulman editor. And let me just give you, let you in on a little secret. If you go here to the panels foot switch section, click on this little icon, like so. With the Soulman software comes what we call example panels. And we've already done some work to create these Nemesis specific panels that you can grab very easily, import into your Soulman editor, and instantly use to control your nemesis. Let's, let's pull something up. Uh, select one, open it, select a panel position where it will go. I'm doing panel six, and there it is. That is the modulation amount. So looking at this panel, I see that I'm using CC value seven, which controls the modulation depth. And with each foot switch uh, moving left to right, I'm increasing the depth from 0 to 32 to 63 to 127. Very cool. So there are a bunch of panels available in here, and they are a great way to get yourself started in creating your own specific panels. But let's talk about this panel that I've created. Call this Oil Can Can. Each of these columns represents each of the four foot switches. So as you saw in the beginning of the video, the foot switch to the far left just engages my preset. So I titled this one ENG for engage. And you can see that these abbreviations show up on the Soul Man's LCD screen. And they remind you what function each foot switch performs. The switch action is set to latching. You can see I've got four different choices. I've selected latching because I want to be able to hit the foot switch, have the preset come on and stay on until I hit the foot switch again. Uh, the default state is off. Um, I'm sending a PC message because I'm just sending it a program change which will engage a particular preset that I've created. The on data is PC number 11, which if you look over here, oil can, that is a preset I created in scenes mode and its PC number is 11. So 
When you turn this particular PC on, on comes the oil can preset. When you turn it off, it goes to zero, which you can see over here, I've programmed as a bypass. Over here is my self oscillation control. That's the second foot switch. And basically all that does is when I hold the foot switch down, it does the same thing. It's turning the feedback knob all the way up till it gets into self oscillation. And when I release it, it goes back to its normal position. So I used for the switch action, I use momentary because I want to be able to hold that foot switch down, put it into self oscillation, and it will stay there until I release the foot switch and it will go back to the regular uh, position. Uh, the default state is off. I'm sending a CC message. Now that is short for continuous controller. And in this scenario, when I'm controlling a particular knob, you should think of the knob being broken into 128 little sections. So section 0 would be the feedback knob turned all the way to the left. Section 127 is the feedback knob turned all the way to the right. Okay, now the on data. This is where I need to go into my MIDI implementation menu. So I'm going to the website sourceaudio.net Go to Support, Manuals, and Documentation. And I'm going to scroll down here, Other Documentation, the One Series Nemesis Delay MIDI Implementation. Okay, that's opening up. And you see the on data, the CC data is number 5. So if we go to the menu, you will see that CC number 5 right here is Feedback and the range is 0 to 127. So in these fields, on data 0 selects which parameter or function I'm controlling, and on data 1 assigns the position to which I'm turning that virtual knob in this case. I'm sending it CC data number 5. When I push the foot switch down, it will go to on data number 1, which is 127. So like I mentioned before, that is like turning the feedback knob all the way up so it goes into self oscillation. I have to hit, I have to program CC number five again on the, for the off data. So when I release that foot switch, the feedback goes down to 40, which represents somewhere around 10 o'clock on the knob. Over here, I am engaging the send function on the Nemesis. And what that does is control the amount of signal that is being fed into the delay lines. So basically, when it's off, all, you know, 100% of the signal is going into the delay. So it's just a normal delay. But what I want to be able to do is hold that foot switch down and shut off all signal going to the delay. So you still be hearing the dry signal. It'll just eliminate the delays. So you can see I'm using... For the on data, I'm using CC value number 51, which if we go here, you can see is associated with delay send control. And the range is 0 to 127. So I'm using the full range of that. You can see when I turn it on, 0. So 0 signal is going to the uh, delay taps. When it's off, the full signal, 127, goes to the delay taps. So that's what that does. And finally, over here is the hold function, which I've labeled HLD. And this is nice because what the hold function does is it creates a little loop in the repeats. So you hold it down, and it's kind of like a freeze effect. Um, and I have it set to latching, so I can just hit foot switch number four. It goes into hold, and it stays there until I hit that foot switch again. And you can see on data, zero, that's 97. So we go to our menu, you can see the infinite hold is 97. And then the range is zero to 127. <clears throat> now, since this only performs one function, uh, it's not like there's a level of degree of the hold. It's either on or it's off. So since the range is zero to 127, anything less than or equal to CC63 deactivates the hold function. Anything greater than or equal to 64 activates the hold function. So you can see, if 
for on I've set it to 65 and for off I've set it to 60. In the next video we're going to talk about macro messages.